Yeah, it's another very interesting time. Kama umepitia video zangu za orientation ndani ya mapindi up basi utakuta kuna video nimekwambia kwamba nitaelezea description ya topics za advanced biology one topic after another lakini pia tutaenda kwenye description ya advanced chemistry wakati mwingine leo acha naelezea description ya topic za advanced biology ninachokieleza hapa nini hapa nitakuwa naeleza parts ambazo walimu wanatakiwa wao wanazikava au wanazipitia kwenye kila topic every topic mwalimu anatakiwa akave pati gani hii inaweza kukusaidia hata kama haujasoma kozi yangu ya orientation ya kwenye mapindi up ambayo inalipiwa hii inaweza kukusaidia wewe kama unasoma tuition center unasoma maeneo mbalimbali au hata kama uko shuleni uweze kujua kwamba mwalimu ameskip concept gani concept gani mwalimu haja kusomesha haja kufundisha kwa sababu usipokuwa unajua unaweza ukashtuka Mwalimu amemaliza anakwambia tumaliza topic tumaliza topic kumbe kuna vitu vingi haujakava and finally you come to realize kwamba kuna vitu vingi haujakava unakuta tayari muda umebakia mchache and finally you fail your final exams kwa hiyo it's better hapa mwanzoni kujua kabisa e, ni vyema unapokuwa unaenda kubeba mzigo kama ni wa kilo 40 uambie kwamba bwana pale kuna kilo 40 kuliko uambie kuna kilo kumi ukaenda kunyanyua ukakuta kuna kilo 40 manake it's better hivi mwanzoni ukao unajua kabisa kwamba advanced level utasoma vitu gani na vina uzito kiasi gani vina weight kiasi gani ili kwamba hivi vitu ukijua vina weight kiasi gani utajipanga utakuwa uko arranged vizuri kuweza kujua kwamba nitafanya fanyaje vitu e, ili vitokee kwa sura ambayo nilitaka vitokee kwa hiyo Discussion hii hapa itakusaidia sana kujua weight ya topic mbalimbali ambazo tuko nazo katika advanced level baoro jina sitaifanya kwa video moja sitaifanya kwa video moja uh, nitafanya kwa video nyingi sasa nianze na topic ya kwanza kwenye advanced baoro which is cytology hapa niko na na, na, na PC yangu kwa niko na PC yangu hapa nitakuwa nakusomea parts eh, kuanzia part ya kwanza hadi part ya mwisho nitakuwa nakusomea na hizi parts ninazo kusomea na kusomea kutoka kwenye notes zangu. Kwa that is the way notes zangu ziko. Najua most of teachers they skip some parts uh, for their own needs labda wa wamalize topics au for other requirements ambazo ziko based sana na issues zao za business. Sasa mimi siko kwa ajili ya kulipa biashara yao, niko kwa ajili ya kufanyaje kuwafungua macho wanafunzi wa Tanzania waweze kujua kwamba kuna baadhi ya maeneo kuna concepts zinakuwa skipped and they are very important. Na nitakuwa nakwambia kuna baadhi ya concept nitakuwa nakwambia kwamba hii concept uh, haiko kwenye syllabus moja kwa moja ila kuwa inafundishwa kwa sababu sometimes it appear in exams. Uh, katika topic ya cytology part ya kwanza kabisa ni history of the cell. History of the cell. This part haiko sana kwenye syllabus na sio muhimu sana we kujua history of the cell sio muhimu sana but it's important kama utajua underlying history ilianzia wapi cell kwa sababu eh, knowing about the cell is knowing about all biology any biology uwezo kwa sababu biology if you don't know about the cell that's why we call a cell the basic unit of structure and function kwa hiyo unatakiwa ujue history of the cell na ndani ya history of the cell ujue what is common in all cell yani nini ambacho cell zote zinafanana nini ambacho kiko common kwenye kila aina ya seli iwe prokaryotic iwe eukaryotic iwe seli ya aina yoyote now sometimes this can appear as a question in the exam kwamba what is common in all cells lakini sio mnyakati zote na kwa inaapia kama swali kwa hiyo hii part sio muhimu sana mwalimu wako asipofundisha usimuone kama kuna vitu ame skip lakini mimi kwangu nafundisha toka hapo ninaenda kuanza ku discuss concept of cytology na discuss concept ya cytology tunaangalia a meaning ya cytology eh tunaangalia tukiambiwa cell the basic structural and functional unit of organism tukisema structural unit manake nini na tukisema functional unit manake nini na hapa huko kuna maswali kabisa ambayo unaulizwa kwamba structural unit tukisema cell the structural basic structural unit manake nini na tukisema cell the basic functional unit ina maana gani unaona Uh, lakini pia 
tukitoka hapo kwenye ku discuss hiyo concept ya cytology na kuelewa kwamba basic structural na basic functional unity tukitoka hapo hapo mara kitu nako tume tuna define cell katika concept ya cytology tunaelezea cytology yenyewe ni kitu gani lakini after that tunaenda kuelezea what is the cell ndio tunaona kwamba cell is the basic structural and the functional unit of living organism so tunaanza ku enumerate what is the a structural unit mean and what is the functional unit mean from there uh, tunako tuna discussion a uh, cell is the self contained unity kwamba why a cell is known as the self contained unity kuna kwa kuna reason hapa zinaelezewa kwamba why a cell is known as a self contained unity there are like 10 reasons which um, explain a cell as the self contained unity lakini kuna reasons zinazoelezea kuhusu um, cell autonomy yani uwezo wa cell kujidepend au kujitegemea yenyewe the cell autonomy katika unicellular organism and cell autonomy in multicellular organism how the cell can live independent of the other cell in unicellular organism and how the cell can live in can live as independent cell in multicellular organism na katika hiyo discussion yote mwishoni tunatakiwa tu tunajua kujibu swali why a cell is known as the self contained unit kwa nini cell inajulikana kama self contained unit lakini tukitoka hapo tutaenda ku discuss importance of studying cytology hapo tuta discuss important kadha wa kadha za kusoma cytology lakini tukitoka hapo tutaenda kwenye part ya pili ambayo ni development of cell theory development of cell theory maana tukishamaliza history tuka define what is a cytology tunaenda kwenye development of cell theory Mm, hapa tunasoma kwanza kwenye history of cell theory development walihusika watu gani na watu walisuggest vitu gani katika cell theory kwa sababu sometimes you can be asked in form of questions kwamba explain the development of cell theory and the contribution of different scientists katika development of cell theory kuliko kuna wana science gani katika development of cell theory na wana science wali contribute kitu gani wana science flani ali contribute nini kila kitu baadaye kikawa modified kwa namna gani you can be asking in terms of questions kwa sababu sikuizi tunaulizwa the competent based examination so hii ambayo tunatakiwa tukalili baadaye tunatakiwa tunajua kwamba kwa nini kitu kiko kwa style kama hii kwa hiyo hapa eh, tunasoma kina Matthias Schlenden tuna Theodo Chiwan ambao tunasoma tuna Ludolf Kavicho hao tunasoma na contribution zao katika development of cell theory finally tunakuja ku study meaning of cell theory manake ni au definition of cell theory definition tukitoka hapo tunaenda kwenye main ideas au tunaita main ideas of cell theory au tunaita cell doctrines au mna mwingine tunaita the tenets of cell theory zile idea kuu za cell theory ziko tano the main ideas of cell theory ziko tano unaona tunazi discuss zile pale zote one after another and then tukitoka hapo tunaenda ku discuss challenges to many ideas of cell theory kwamba zile ideas of cell theory ambazo zilikuwa suggested zina different challenges kuna some environment hazionyeshi ku fit kuna some environment zinaonyesha they are not as explained in the ideas of cell theory kwa hiyo kuna challenges mbalimbali and also we have the exceptions to cell theory exceptions and challenges of cell theory they are just like the same but our challenges zinaelezea changamoto kwamba kwa nini cell theory haielezei kitu hiki but exception tunaelezea nini kwamba cell theory it is exceptional in organism moja mbili tatu kwa sababu kwa wao kuna vitu moja mbili tatu unaona kwa ukimaliza hapo unatakiwa unajua ku state cell theory unajua challenges of main theory i mean wewe unajua challenges of cell theory wewe unajua main ideas of cell theory then from there we are jumping to properties of a cell unatakiwa unajua Uh, properties of the cell <clears throat> katika properties of the cell kuna vitu vingi kuna mambo ya cell size unaona ukubwa wa cell na different structures of the cell sasa ukitokea hapo tunapoeleza cell size unatakiwa pia uwe tunaenda kwenye kipande ambacho tunaelezea diversity of cell size and shape tunaelezea diversity of cell size and shape hapa ndipo ambapo huwa tunaulizwa tu maswali kwamba what is the largest cell in the body what is the largest known cell in the world kuna maswali kama hayo ambayo huwa unaulizwa short answer questions ambazo unatakiwa utaje tu jina la cell unaona unaweza kukuta zina half marks kwa zinaelezewa hapa katika diversity of cell size and shape and hapa panaelezwa kwamba 
why do we have diversity of cell size and shape kwa nini tuna cell nyingine ambazo ni kubwa nyingine ndogo why it's important to have a diversity in cell size and shape kwa ndio unajua hapo smallest cell known largest cell the longest cell in human body na maswali kama hayo lakini pia kutoka hapo unajua factors limiting how determining the largest size of the cell ni factor gani zinazo determine largest size of the cell factor gani zinazo determine largest size of the cell unaona factor gani zinazo determine largest size of the cell au kwa lugha nyingine why the cell is always small in size why the cell is always small in size um, kuna factor ambazo zina limit au zina determine the largest size of the cell uh, ziko factor kama tatu hapo ndio kwa unajua lakini pia huwa unajua factor limiting au determining the smallest size of the cell kwamba size ndogo ya seli inakuwa affected na factor zipi kwa nini seli haiwi ndogo zaidi ya hiyo yani seli ni ndogo lakini kuna wakati au kuna size ambayo haiwezi kawa ndogo zaidi ya hiyo kwa nini you must know but also you need to know the significance of the cell being microscopic in size kwa nini seli yenyewe ni ndogo kwenye ukubwa haya ni mambo ambayo maeneo mengi ukuti yanafundishwa lakini yako kwenye mitiani unakuta mitiani na uliza kwamba why the cell is a microscopic in size or why is it important or why is it significant for the cell to be microscopic in size kwa nini kwa nini seli ni microscopic in size lazima uone unajua kwa hivi ni vitu ambavyo lazima uone vijua kwa sababu sometimes eh maswali yake hata kuja direct lakini kuna sometimes maswali yake yanakuja direct uelezee why white important for the cell to be small in size na unakuta ni very scarce kuvipata hivi kwenye BS kupata kwenye understanding kupata kwenye vitabu ni very scarce lakini mimi bado kwenye notes zangu vipo hivi vitu ni vitafuta sources mbalimbali kabioka kwa sababu vinaulizwa kwenye mitihani tukitoka hapo tuna jump kwenda kwenye types of the cell hapo tuna discuss prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell tuna discuss introduction yake characteristics of prokaryotic cell tunaangalia characteristics zake vizuri kabisa za prokaryotic cell na diagram zake tunaangalia the outside features of prokaryotic cell yani outside prokaryotic cell tunaweza kupata nini na inside prokaryotic cell tunaweza kupata nini and finally tunaenda ku discuss kuhusu the physiological features of prokaryotic cell kwamba how the prokaryotic cell perform different functions na tunaenda kuona the diagram of a typical prokaryotic cell ah yote ni maswali diagram of a typical prokaryotic cell you can be asked in your exam unaweza kuulizwa kuhusu the features of prokaryotic cell the external the internal physiological features the way the prokaryotic cell function or oh, sometimes you can be asked not a direct question lakini ukauliza maswali ambayo yanaendana na hayo lakini pia function of different parts of a prokaryotic cell let's say the cell wall the cytoplasm the pillar the genetic material what are their function and this question inaulizwa kwenye mtihani part za unaambiwa uelezee uelezee function ya part moja moja toka hapo tunaenda kwenye eukaryotic cell ambayo ni aina ya pili ya cell you have only two types of cell the prokaryotic and eukaryotic tukienda kwenye eukaryotic cell tunaeleza introduction tunaangalia characteristics of eukaryotic cell tunaangalia again tunaangalia outside of uh, eukaryotic cell kuna nini tunaangalia inside eukaryotic cell kuna nini na tunaangalia physiological feature of eukaryotic cell kwamba how the eukaryotic cell perform its functions unaona and the typical structure or the uh, example of a structure of eukaryotic cell hapo inaweza kawa ni either animal au plant cell any of these can act as the a typical eukaryotic cell tunaenda kuangalia different uh, or differences between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell you need to know our differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell in different manners kwa sababu kuna maswali yanaulizwa differentiate prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell based on let's say flagella cell division respiration and cell size organism you need to know how to differentiate these two types of cell based on different criteria which you are you are told in your question kwa hiyo tegemea na nature of the question you can be asked to differentiate between these two types of cell in different ways unaona bwana kwa maswali kama hayo kwenye hii part ukishasoma huo unajua utajibuji maswali kama hayo but also we have similarities between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell unaona tunao similarities kati ya prokaryotic na eukaryotic cell this discussion will be very long kwa sababu uh, topic hizi kuzichambua topic ni zimejaa topic za biology ni zimejaa zimeshiba Yaani hapa sijafika hata nusu hizi notes zina page 68 hapa niko page ya 14
kwa topic zimejaa kuna mambo mengi mdani zimejaa zimejaa na kuna mahali pengine nitatakiwa niwe na kufanulia kidogo wewe unajiona maswali yanatokaje ila fuatilia hizi video ziko kwenye playlist na ziweka kwenye playlist special kabisa um, utakuta kuna playlist imeandikwa uh, biology topics hiyo playlist nitakuwekea video zote najua zinaweza kawa kumi zikawa video ishirini lakini nafanya tu kama utumishi wa Mungu we pitia hizi video hizi zitakusaidia sana zitakusaidia wewe mwanafunzi competent na uweze kujua kwamba niwe na content gani sitakazo nifanya niweze kuperform vizuri katika mitihani yangu ya mwisho so thank you and let me wish you nice studies tukutane kipindi kijacho nitaanza kuelezea part inayoendelea kwenye cytology animal cell na plant cell nitateremka nayo hapo sijui nitaishia wapi lakini tukutane kipindi kijacho asante sana